So, was the serpent in Genesis 3 a literal snake? And no, I don't think that it was. Uh, this video probably won't provide as much evidence and proof as I should, but maybe in the future I'll go into a deeper study in this. But I just want to look at a few things. Um, so let's look at Genesis chapter 3. In verse 1 it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. So, it says the serpent. So, we're talking specific here, the serpent. If we were talking about the species or the kind of snakes in general, then it should say, now serpents were more subtle which the Lord God had made, or more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. But we're talking specific here, the serpent. Okay. And then it continues to say, And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Now everybody knows that this is Satan. But some people believe that Satan went into a snake, a literal snake. And he's speaking through this literal snake. But nowhere in scripture does it say that. The first, the first reference to it that we get is now the serpent. Okay, and it says it was more subtle than any beast of the field. So it says any beast, but it, so it makes you think that, you know, snakes out of all animals were more subtle. But that's not what it's saying. Okay, it says the serpent. We're talking specific here. It doesn't say that Satan went into a serpent. It just starts off saying the serpent. This is specific. Um, and then skip to verse 14. In uh, Genesis 3, verse 14, it says, And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Now, when I was going to an Assembly of God church building for a while, you know, the satanic corporation that it is, uh, they were doing a character study on Adam and Eve, and we're talking about the beginning of the Bible, and we're going over this, and people were talking about discussing how maybe animals talked before the fall and stuff like this. But that's I don't think that we don't get that in the Bible anywhere. So when it says here that, that thou art cursed above all cattle and above all every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. People interpret this to say that the literal snakes, the species or the kind of snakes before before this curse they they had legs and feet and they could walk and now all of a sudden because of because Satan, you know, tempted Eve through a literal snake, now they're cursed and they now they don't have legs. Before they could talk. I mean that's just to me that's just ignorant. That's totally not what the Bible says at all. I mean you'd have to you have to read it, you know, for what it says. You know, it doesn't say anything about Satan going into a snake. And doesn't and what does that say about the character of God? If Satan went into a literal snake, and then Satan says, now I'm going to curse all the whole species of snakes uh, because of what Satan did, they're going to get the curse out of it. <laughs> so what is he saying here? He's saying, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat. And another thing is, do snakes eat dust? They eat rodents. Okay, they don't eat dust. So, you know, what he's saying here is, you know, you're cursed, Satan, you're going to eat dust, you know, just that's just like we would say to someone else, you know, like, you know, you're going to eat dust, or whatever, it's like, you know, you're beat, you're done for, Satan, that's it. You know, that's what he's saying. Uh, it's like a figurative thing, you know. So, you know, and he goes on to say, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And, you know, it's talking about, that's a future prophecy for Jesus Christ, you know, who defeats Satan. So, um, also, if, if God cursed the literal species of snakes, and they could walk before, and then he cursed them, and now they can't, they don't have legs, or whatever, what about worms? What about legless lizards? Are they cursed too? See, it doesn't make any sense at all. And I, and 
you know, there are a lot of people that believe that it was a literal snake. I think because of these false institutional church buildings, um, you know, just the same thing with the long-haired Jesus. We know that Jesus couldn't have had long hair because Paul said it's a shame for a man to have long hair, and he saw Jesus. You know, why would Paul say that if Jesus had long hair? You know, but because of, you know, the satanic Catholic Church and, you know, all their paintings and all this, you know, when we think about this, you know, Satan, you know, tempting Eve in the garden, we think about, you know, this this literal picture, you know, of the snake in a tree or whatever that's been implanted in our brains, you know, but it's not bib biblical. That's just not the truth that the Bible tells. But there are many people that believe that, and... It even uh, I don't I don't get how Sam Gip seems to believe this. I've been watching a lot of Sam Gip videos lately, and I do suggest him uh, if you haven't checked out his video. What's the big deal about the KJV? He's really good at defending the King James Bible, and uh, he's got a lot of good stuff. But he says you know the first time we hear about a snake mentioned is in Genesis three, whatever. But it's not talking about a literal snake at all. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. That's not what the Bible says. You have to take the Bible for what it says. You know, we got other references to the serpent, meaning Satan. Revelation 12, 9. Let's see. Revelation 12, 9. Let me see. Okay. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, and that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So there it says, that old serpent, or Satan, or the devil, all the same thing. The serpent, that old serpent. Revelation 20, verse 2. I'll go to that. Revelation 22 says, And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So these are two more references to Satan, where it says, you know, that old serpent, where he's being called a serpent. So I just think that it's, I think that if somebody believes that it's a literal snake, you know, I don't like that they're a heretic, as long as they believe, you know, everything else right, you know, that matters. That salvation is by grace through faith and, you know, uh, the pre-trib rapture, all that good stuff. But I just, I think that it's ignorance. I don't think it makes any sense at all, and it's not what the Bible says. So, hope that you learned something. Thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.